Hi, this time in San Agustin Bay in Oaxaca. Welcome to Under the Mexican Sun. Like many other Oaxaca beaches, this one is not an exception and offers crystal clear water. But spending time here, I thought, why is beach water so transparent in some places and others not? Where is the secret? Are only humans responsible for how clean or polluted water is or is there another reason? Google Maps marks about one hour by car to this paradise from Crucecita. On the way there we found some papaya fields. It seemed like this climate is perfect for them. Also banana palms. The road is still on the bay and I ignored the speed but I suspect it never was faster than 50-60 km per hour. But finally we got there and our idea was to take a boat to Virgin Cacalutilla Beach but the guys offering the boat service said that it was too late. It was like 2 p.m. and the sea stream was coming in a contrary direction so it was not safe to go there. So we settled next to these massive stones and explored the place. Half of this beach is full of them. And this extensive brownish green animal that you can see is a huge natural water filter, which consumes swimming particles in the water as its food and purifies water around it. So that's why the beach water where coral reefs grow is so clean. Also, they serve as a protection from strong seawater streams. And it's not a coincidence that there are many stones where coral reefs appear. It's because corals stick to rocks and grow around them. And don't forget your swimming or snorkel googles because it's difficult to appreciate this place without getting your face into the water. If you become hungry, there are plenty of restaurants where you can order some food, even fresh cooked fish, which they can prepare as you wish. Coral reefs have about millions of years on Earth. Small ones take thousands of years to grow and when their formation process is complete, they could stand for thousands of years. But due to human activity, they don't last as long as they should. I know we can make a difference and protect them, so please when you visit these places don't touch corals, don't stand on them for that incredible picture, because it can take a second to break something that took ages to grow. And finally, if we break them, who will clean the water better than nature can do it by itself.
We found many small animals on the road back, which shows that this area's ecosystem is still alive. So if you come here, pay attention while driving and protect it.